Hi guys. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I feel a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I feel a little weird and I've been kind of wanting to come back and make videos. I just am in a weird, really weird phase of my life right now and everything really just kind of came down on my head all at once. Finally, I'm um, seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So hi, <laughs> I'm back and I do want to start uh, posting videos on this channel. I just don't really know what I'm going to post yet. If you have any ideas of what you might want to see, let me know in the comments. Um, will I be doing daily vlogging on this channel? Probably not. <laughs> Actually, I have an idea for a video surrounding that because I get that question a lot. I do want to share like some like maybe like daily life stuff but not daily vlogging because literally my life is insane like i told you it's been crazy since 2019 it has been like a literal on a roller coaster every day is something different in fact in the next two weeks i'll be traveling so i might bring you guys along with that and there's just something always going on we're in the middle of a remodel for our office we're moving offices we're hiring new people and we're you know doing packaging and all this kind of new stuff is going on and it's just like a really exciting exciting time is really exhausting <laughs> but anyway that's just professional I'm just I'm here to talk about personal life I guess I'm officially divorced the divorce was official as of I believe it was November so like literally only a couple months ago we have just been going back and forth for the past three years for the exact reason that you probably think and I'm just really happy that that's over like I just want to move on focus on healing, focus on growing, and focus on taking care of my kids. After everything that's gone on with just everything for the past three years, my mind is really kind of messed up. Like my mind is really messed up. I'm not, mentally I'm not in the best space just to be completely honest. And I am looking for a therapist for that, but it's really hard to find a good therapist, especially when you're really busy. I'll like maybe take a couple hours one day and like reach out to one and they'll be like, oh, we're not accepting new patients. And I'm like, Damn it, I took so much effort to find you. I liked you. Then I'll get busy doing something else and I'll have to like wait for another month to like check it. So anyway, I'm in the um, process of looking for a therapist and I've just decided that I'm just gonna take whatever I can get. Like I'm not gonna be picky. Like if you let me talk to you, then we're good. <laughs> I just need to talk to somebody. And I know like, you know, family and friends are always like, oh, you could talk to me, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, it's like, no, I can't. I can't talk to you and I appreciate that, but you're not gonna like me anymore if I'm gonna keep complaining to you over and over again. Like clearly that's gonna get old so while I appreciate the sentiment I do need a therapist to talk to. I've learned how to cope on my own as a single mom and the kids are doing really well like that's literally my biggest priority. My kids and then my business like my kids are my first priority always like I want to make sure that Olivia and Theodore are good. Those are my babies, my loves, the love of my life like my unconditionals you know what I'm saying like after everything that I've been through they're my unconditionals. They're doing really well. Their father and I are co-parenting. I basically have them all week, every week, and then every other weekend. And I really wanted that because I grew up with a household where we just like everything was scheduled and by the book and I know how to schedule and I know what kids need. And so I really want to make sure that I could provide that for them and make sure that they're having that. So I have them all week, every week, and then every other weekend. And so I basically get like four days off a month which is a little bit exhausting which is probably why my mental health you know i'm an introvert like being an introvert single mom is a whole <laughs> it's a whole new thing y'all like for real like it's a lot but the kids are doing well it's so funny because like when they go i miss them so much it's like oh my god i need a freaking break i need a freaking break but then like the night before they go i'm like i miss you i love you i can't wait to see you i i literally have been to them like i miss you already and you're not even gone <laughs> Like I just, I miss them so much. I love my babies so much. If you guys saw my Instagram, I just posted like our holiday photos, our holiday Christmas cards. I finally did what I've been wanting to do for so long. Like I just want to do family photos all the time. And I just never, the thing is that I'm so like, I'm so busy and I used to be really proud about that. But the older I get, the more I realize like I don't want to be busy. I want to have time for to do the things in my life that I love to do. And so I realized that I'm not slowing down anytime soon. So I need to go ahead and make the time uh, for the things that I want to do. So I made sure to schedule uh, Christmas photos so we could do Christmas photos and they came out so beautiful. I got the other uh, cute little velvet uh, 
suit jacket. He just looks like a little gentleman. Oh my God, it's so cute. Like, so I'm gonna do those every year now. And also I wanna do another photo shoot in the springtime. Besides their school photos, I don't really have any like photos of all of us through the years, except for like what I take on my phone, but that doesn't really count like professional, nice photos, you know? to hang around the house and just to make it feel like a home. And that's something that I'm really focusing on is just making my house a home for myself and for my kids. Olivia is currently in fourth grade and Theodore is in kindergarten. He's gonna be in first grade actually this year, this September, which is insane. Like he's gonna be in first grade this year, y'all. Time is flying. Time is flying. It waits for no man, I swear. Um, okay, what else? What else? Divorce, mental health, the kids. Again, a lot of my time this year has been just focusing on my kids, making sure they're okay, focusing on finalizing my divorce, and then focusing on uh, dealing with the multiple uh, issues just going on with the beauty industry and the business and all that. But one thing that I did not get to celebrate was that I also graduated cosmetology school. I graduated cosmetology school in May of 2022 and literally when I graduated I just like I I did like a little post about it on Instagram and then I had to just move on like I couldn't even like celebrate it or do any like that was a huge undertaking that took eight months out of my life I was going there full time while dealing with all the work related issues being a single mom and that was so unbelievably hard <laughs> like it was so hard but it was so much fun I went to Tony and Guy Academy and if you guys want more information about that I can make a whole video about that but I had so much fun literally the highlight of my day was just when I got to drive to the salon and just do hair all day like how much fun is that I love that and I have to figure out a way to get into a salon I don't want to own my own salon but I would love to just like work in a salon maybe one day a week just to get my hands in hair and just be immersed in all that but I learned so much and I had such a great time and now I can officially say that I am a licensed cosmetologist and honestly to get the license was so hard because literally the whole industry the whole beauty industry just like blew up because of the pandemic but that also affected the schools as well so cosmetology schools and how they administer their licensing so when i graduated it was the very last week of may 2022 the very first week of the following month june 2022 was the last week that they were giving out cosmetology licensing they stopped giving out licenses from june 2022 all the way up until i think my friends said they just got it so i think it was december of 2022 i think they might have just opened it in december so from june to december people were not getting licenses they will graduate cosmetology school and they just had to sit there and wait and i was like oh my god like i didn't go through eight months of this hard ass work to sit here and wait and have to like possibly not remember everything that's going to be on this test i was like oh hell no so the moment i graduated i was like mm -mm. i got like one of the last four spots took my test and graduated and i was just like yes girl you did it i was i'm so proud so that's why i proudly put on my ig i'm a licensed cosmetologist and I am so excited. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that this year I'll be able to get into a salon. I have some ideas of like what I want to do. And so I'm just hoping that I can find the time to do that. Um, but again, like last year was just so in incredibly taxing that I'm just like making baby steps into like being normal again. Like I last year was horrible, guys. It was probably the worst year of my life. 2022 is the worst year of my life. It was like the greatest year because I got my cosmetology license and because I um, got my divorce finalized, honestly. But it was the worst year because of all the issues and because just the process of getting divorced and just the process of getting my license. Like it was just so mentally taxing. I was actually really angry. I was angry for, I'm still a little bit angry, I'm not gonna lie, just from everything that was going on. <sighs> this this whole situation changed me and not necessarily for the worse. I think mentally I am on the worse, like my mental health has definitely gone down, but I think that I have become a lot more mature 
and a lot more uh, less naive, a lot less naive, I guess I would say. So I think that's a good thing. It's forced me to be organized. It's forced me to give up control when I just wanted to really do everything myself. Like I can't do everything myself as far as like just dealing with my day to day. I need help. So giving up control in that sense, it's really forced me to grow up fat. Like I feel like looking back on the old videos, I'm not the same person. And that's one of the reasons why I took, if you notice, I took down all the old vlogs on this channel because I look back on them and while they are fond memories, I just don't know. I look at it and I cringe because I just don't know how much of that was actually a real experience. Do you know what I mean? I don't know if you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm going to talk about this in another video, I think, but um, like it, it was real on my end. But just knowing what I know now about everything, I don't like to have memories where it's not what I thought it was, you know? So I took them down. <laughs> I took them down. Um, and so I still want to keep my channel, but I want I think I, th I want to do some different videos here and I'm not really sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try a bunch of different things and see what you guys like. I have a whole list of videos that I want to make for this channel, but I obviously wanted to make this video first because I feel like everything that happened needs a conclusion, right? And so before I can move on, I have to, I've concluded it with myself. I've concluded it with my children. I've concluded it with the other party. And now I need to conclude it with you guys. And I just want to thank you guys for all the love and support that you showed my family. And it was a really great time in my life. <laughs> I, I, I really, wow, what the heck? It was a really great time in my life. And I thought I had everything, you know, and I did. I feel like I did have everything, but it wasn't true and it wasn't real. And um, it really taught me to just be more careful what I choose to stick my neck out for. Because at the end of the day, I think that when I was younger, I really needed love and I would do anything for anyone to get that right. Now I'm learning to just I have my own love, right? I love myself. I love my children. And um, I also lose my train of thought really easily. <laughs> I think I have PTSD, to be honest with you. I got to talk to my therapist. I've got so much going on. I will lose my train of thought so easily. But yeah, anyway, I just want to thank you guys for your love on this channel. And, you know, let me know what you want to see because I will be making some videos. It's probably going to be like, there's no theme here. It's just going to be like eclectic, whatever I want to post. I'll see what you guys like and maybe I'll just stick to that, but I'm not really sure. And I am working on a hair video actually right now. <laughs> I've actually, I owe you guys so many videos. I know, like I said, 2022 was a hot mess. Please don't. Don't, don't hate me for that. I really, I'm surviving. I'm, this is me clawing out of my dirt grave. They tried to bury me. I'm clawing out and I'm like, hi guys. <laughs> That's me right now. I'm trying to get into the routine. Like once you stop filming for a while, it's really, really, really hard to force yourself to do it again, man. It is so hard to get on a schedule again and to just like really stick with it. So this is, this is the start. All right. So hang with me. I hope you guys are having a great 2023 so far. Happy new year. I hope that you guys had a great 2022. I hope it was better than mine. I feel like it was a rough one for everybody because you know, the pandemic was in 2020. Those seagulls, like for real, what is that? Is that it? Go away. <laughs> like the pandemic happened in 2020 and that was horrible. Obviously it's almost like a chain reaction, you know, like the real effects of like business and career and personal life strains and all that ricocheted into 2021 and 2022. My deepest heart, I feel like 2023 is going to be an amazing year. It's the year of growth, the year of healing and the year of just getting your shit together. You know what I'm saying? Just get your shit together. I hope, I hope that for you, and your loved ones. And I, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for just believing in me. And, and oh my God, Blue Jays are so cute. There's two of them and they're so big and beautiful. Oh my God, they're so cute. Wow, look at those two. What are they doing? They're like friends. Say some little things in life. So yeah, I hope that One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blue jays. It's a whole family of blue jays. 
Oh, wow. I've never seen that many Blue Jays in one spot before. Holy crap, I got the best view. <laughs> I haven't filmed in a while, so I haven't sat in front of a window to just look. My camera is running out of space, so I have to go. But anyway, <laughs> I got distracted by the Blue Jays. But I'm just, I was trying to say, I hope you guys are having a great year. I hope that 2023 is everything that you hope it will be. And, um, you know, just hang, hang in there, guys. Like, life is hard, man. It's hard. It is so hard. It doesn't always turn out how we expect it to turn out. And shit is going to be so hard but you can get through it. I promise you, you can get through it. And when you have a bad day, just know that it's a bad day. It's not a bad life. All right, we can do this together and I will be back with more videos. All right, I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.